Hi, I'm Jeanette Eileen Jones. I'm an associate professor of history and ethnic studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. To Enter Africa from America is a digital project that I'm working on with three co-collaborators. Namata Blyden, who is Associate Professor of History and International Relations at George Washington University. Nadia Nur Hussein, who is Associate Professor of English and Africana Studies at the John Hopkins University. And John Cullen Grusser, who is a Research Professor at Sam Houston University in the Department of English. And so basically what we're interested in is how the U.S. Um, engages with Africa between the years of 1862 and 1919. And what we're trying to do is situate that engagement in the history of the so-called new imperialism or global imperialism that um, marks the late 19th century. So in some ways we are very much unidirectional um, that is looking at U.S. figures, whether they are um, diplomats or travelers, um, whether they're black or white, mostly black or white, but other um, ethnicities who are going to Africa during this period. We're also, though, interested in kind of the other direction. So what Africans are coming to uh, the United States at that same time as free people, now that slavery has ended, the slave trade? Um, and um, we are focusing primarily on countries like Liberia and uh, the Kingdom of Ethiopia or was Abyssinia, but we're also looking at other people who are coming from the colonies to uh, the UN, uh, United States at uh, that point. So it's an interesting uh, project because we're really doing some network analysis. We're, we're interested in relational um, aspects of that. We're looking for latent synergies um, that may not, you know, that um, we can't really track with conventional research um, in terms of a monograph. And so really trying to figure out how people are connected, to what extent are they connected, and how are they thinking about and encountering Africa during this period as Americans, but then also how Africans are responding to their presence in Africa. Well, the main project for T is going to be the website. Um, that is the major output. Um, and on that website, we are also going to have some scholarly articles that will be written by uh, the four of us, the collaborators. But we're also um, aiming to put together a symposium, and then from that symposium, um, a collection of edited essays where we invite people to go to the site, use the materials, and write original or if they want to do synthetic, but really you know, original essays that will be featured in the volume. And so that is the goal um, in our three-year project. So I'm in the process of writing um, a second monograph, which is very much related to some of the work that we're doing with this digital project. It's called America in Africa, U.S. Empire, Race, and the African Question, 1821 to 1919. And uh, currently it's uh, six chapters, really uh, introduction, conclusion, and five really main body chapters, five to six, where I'm looking at different aspects of U.S. engagement with Africa, heavily uh, focused on the U.S. consular service, not exclusively, but they are the featured um, individuals in the um, in the in the narratives that I'm going to be telling um, but I'm also interested in in um, non-state actors and so we also have people who are not officially associated um, with uh, the US government the Department of State who are going over to Africa and engaging in kind of cultural diplomacy or just in their own kind of autonomous work whether it's as missionaries or travelers or um, businessmen, businesswomen, et cetera. And what I'm trying to trace is how we understand that engagement as being framed around a set of political questions, the main question being the African question, like what does it mean um, for, from a Eurocentric perspective, what is, what is Africa's place in the world? 
and as it's framed by Europeans and also by Afri uh, by Americans, you get a particular discourse that um, dominates kind of the Atlantic world. And what I'm interested in is the, the kind of understudied role of the U.S. and Americans in framing those discourses, um, contributing to them, and really trying to shape um, some of, of what what takes place in the continent on the ground. Um, to what extent they're successful is is what the um, in their own endeavors is what the book is going to be talking about as well.